Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Also, feel free to drop a comment below. Today, I want to show you a few dynamic filtering methods, merge method and function method. I will also explain the logic behind the filter function. We have a clean timesheet data and a selection table. You would generally click on the drop down list on the header, select the items, and then click OK to filter. You may apply filters to multiple columns. Let's delete the filter step. The merge queries function is one of the simple no code methods for dynamic filters. We can now use the selection table as the key to dynamic filtering. We choose the selection table from the drop down list. Hold the control key and click on the key identifiers for both tables. Then, select the inner from the join kind list. Inner join kind returns only matching row. Click OK to continue. If we add an additional item to the selection table, the main data table will be updated dynamically. The merge method is excellent but has limitations. For example, conditional filter. Delete the merge step. I want to show you other methods to achieve the same result but much more flexibly. Simply apply a filter. The highlighted is a logical statement. Go to the previous step and add a custom column. Type the logical statement in the formula section. The purpose of this custom column step is to show you how the filter function works. Click OK. Move the custom next to the employee ID column. The logical statement returned true to the employee ID U000105, and the filter the rows that returned true as in results. Go back to the custom step and clear the code. The key to dynamic filtering is the functions that will return true or false. The list contains function is a logical function return true or false. Let us get the list that we need for the function. It is the list of criteria from the selection table. Preview one of the sublists. We want to go through each row in the specified column and check if the employee ID is on the selection list. Add the list dot contains before the list. The list is the first argument. The second argument is the employee ID from each row. Go to the reorder step. You get true for the selection. We can now update the highlighted code to the code we created in the custom column step. We previously applied filters to two columns, and we have only applied one so far. Let's go back to the custom column step. I will show you how to code up for the second filter. Add the an operator, and repeat the same formula as above, but this time we want to the day of week. We have now applied a logical statement to both columns. The logic is true. And true returns true. True and false return false. False and false return false. Go to the filter step and update the code as we did in the custom column step. Here you go. Let's clear the formula in the custom column step and prepare ourselves for the next function. The list contains any. One key difference to the previous function is the second argument. You can have multiple values as a list instead of a single value. This time, we want to use the record to list for the first argument. We turned each row into a list. Let's add list contains any before the list. The list we used previously as the first argument is now the second. Then, add the an operator, and repeat the formula but replace the employee ID with day of week. The result you get now is the same as the previous one. Go to the filter step and update the highlighted code with the code we wrote in the custom column step. The list contains method searches the specified columns and tests against the selection, whereas the list contains any method searches the row and tests against the selection, which means the search range of the list contains is broader than the list contains any. One last quick example. Replace the highlighted code with the text length function that searches the last name only with four characters. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.